here's something really basic that I really want to do a video on, but it's so basic and boring. It doesn't really seem to warrant its entire an entire video by all by itself. So I'm going to incorporate it with something else to make it worth making a video on. So this is a fluorescent light holder. It holds fluorescent light tubes. And these things are quickly being replaced by LEDs, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it's just basic holder. You know, fluorescent light tube goes here. And this one is really generic. There's no specific branding on it or anything like that. It has mounting holes to mount it vertically on the wall. So, you can do that if you want. You could probably also do it horizontally. And it's got these stickers over here. Um, if you know what that means, then tell me in the description below. Over here, um, it just says quality control pass. And the only thing I can read on it is a date code of November 8th, 2000 something. Don't know, it's 2008, 2009. Uh, actually, it might be 2000, actually. Yeah, I think that's 2000. So this thing has a production date of November 8th, 2000. At least from what I can read from that. And, of course, this is a fluorescent light tube. But it's not any light tube. It's a black light tube. This is a black light tube, as I said. Hold on. Specifically, it is a General Electric F20T12 black light bulb. It's 20 watts, made in the United States. And, yeah, just you pop it in here. And just screw it in. It's just a light bulb. Yeah. And of course, you can just plug it into the wall. There you go. And flip it on the switch here. And there you go. It comes on. And of course, the black lights, as many people know, it glows purple. Though right now it looks blue, but it will look purple. It, it looks purple in person. <sighs> And obviously, you turn the lights off, things glow. Oh, well, only certain things glow. And, yeah. You can see some things glow brighter than others. Some things don't glow at all. Some things are quite in the middle. But, yeah, things glow. And I'm going to show you certain things glowing in, these, in specific detail. So, let's get started. First up is the, my general room. And uh, you already saw a little bit of this. But I'm going to show you some more things in detail. So first of all, we got the phone in the corner. And you can see that the tape and the paper glow a lot. Oh my god, it's like that thing is a light itself. But it's just whatever's coming from there. Yeah, look at that. Very bright. And you can see, wow, that is a lot brighter on camera than it is in person. There's some tape holding together telephone wires to go to my phone. See, here's more tape on my light switches. You can see <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Over here, more tape. And if you look on the ceiling, you see my ceiling lights are all glowing. Well, these are easier because they're closer, but uh, those are glowing too. They just can't see them on camera because it's not bright enough. But they are glowing. Uh, of course, you see my sheets. Wow, very bright. Very bright. Wow. Uh, we got more paper. See, paper typically tends to glow a lot. Um, wow. That Christmas star that I still have in my room and just didn't put away. Eh, whatever, I'll leave it there. Not causing any harm. Got the blinds, which glowing. Yeah, uh, that's basically my room at a general lookout, and time to show more things in specific detail. All right, here's some more stuff in specific detail, and uh, well, now the light off, it actually looks a lot more purple because with the lights on, it looks really blue. Anyways. Wow, that's a lot of dust. That's a lot of dust on my room. The camera doesn't really show you, but there are a lot of tiny specks of dust everywhere. 
Wow, okay. Yeah, it's kind of... Ugh. Yeah, maybe this room could be a little vacuuming. But anyways, here's Kitty. Wow, she glows. It's it's quite menacing, actually. Well, whatever. <laughs> Just a plush cat, whatever. And yeah, here's Kitty. These are my plush videos. And she glows a lot. Lots of glowing. Alright, now we got Peter. And man, oh my gosh, his flippers are so, wow. On camera, they're very bright, but yeah, in person, they're not that bright. But you can definitely, on camera, definitely looks really cool, to my opinion. Wow. Alright, next up, we got William. Wow, his gray fur looks purple on camera. That's weird. His tongue also looks purple. Wow, I did not know. I did not actually know that I would do that. Wow. And, yeah. Especially, a lot of white stuff appears very bright. Just the white stuff in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, like my fingernails. <laughs> but yeah. You see that doorstop is white. It's glowing very brightly. And, yeah. So, big theme is white. Seems like a lot of white stuff tends to glow in a black light. Alright, time to show you more stuff. Alright, next up we got, wow, we got Joseph, and whoa, look how bright his red is. You might not be able to see it on camera, but in person, they're not red, oh my god. Yeah, hmm, that's strange, it seems that like more, some parts are more orange than red. I guess it's just Lego composite, look at that. On a normal light, that looks regular red, but under a black light. Wow, that's cool. I did not see that. See, I'm seeing this stuff for the first time like you. I I never saw that before. Wow, that's that's cool. And, man, I did not realize it was this dusty. I'm going to dust these off. Maybe wash them in the sink. Yeah, man, I did not I did not think that he would glow like that. That's cool. Everything seems cool under the black light, really. And we got him. Oh my god, that shot looks... Oh, wow. I'm gonna just leave that there for five seconds. Alright, it's been more than five seconds. And, uh... He's very dusty. He's a dusty boy. Then again, everything's, everything looks very dusty, actually. God, look at my pants. They're so dusty. They're not really just, just much dust. But, yeah. Um, wow. Ugh. Tongue is very red. Seems that reds are a lot are very vibrant. As we saw with Joseph. Very vibrant reds. Very vibrant. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Alright. Alright, focus on the camera a little bit. Uh, looks a little less menacing than not focused, but mm, yeah. Very vibrant red. And we moving on. Next up, we got this item box thing. Uh, yeah. It's actually just a coin candy box. It would have reversed a candy in it, but now we have coins in it. Yeah, coins. Yeah, doesn't seem that money really glows under black light. Okay. And now there's a mess, had to clean it. Yeah, um, again, the whites glow. And doesn't seem that metal really glows under a black light. It's very hard to pick up this stuff in the dark, but I'll do it later. Yeah, so that's just a block. Super Mario. Nice. Alright, now we move to the bed. And even closer, sheets glow very brightly. Yeah. Uh, here are my blinds. They're very bright now. Probably because the light is closer. And you can see the room lights glowing now. 
well, not one, and the other back, yeah. And uh, see, picture frame that were there. That picture frame is very bright. Wow. And look at CRT. Oh, uh, quite unfortunately, you can't see that on camera, but in person, those phosphors are glowing. Like, wow. It's like it looks exactly as if the TV was on. Well, almost exactly. It's a little bit on the green side, but... Eh, yeah. If you ever have a CRT TV and a black light, shine that light on and you can see. Wow. Yeah, that, that, that's definitely cool. But, anyways. You got Reed there who's going, glowing very brightly. The roof is, is very dark, very blunt. Wow. Got uh, Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons and... Yeah, those neon colors, they're really vibrant, really vibrant. Got the Pro Controller here, where the only thing that's glowing is what is supposed to be some sort of notification light. So rumors on the internet, that would be a notification light that would glow if you have notification on your Nintendo Switch. Glows very vibrantly, and it's the only thing that's glowing on the Nintendo Switch, and I just turned my Switch on. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's neon, so can't really say anything about that. Uh, huh, nothing, nothing much here actually glowing. That's kind of it, really. I thought, really, I thought some of this stuff would glow, like these displays would glow, but I guess that's nothing to do with anything. Wow, that's cool. Over here, we got this thermometer glowing very brightly because it's white, because a lot of white stuff here is glowing, and it's light switch. Which if we turn that on. Oh, okay, my camera's got just under this camera is not very good under low light conditions. Pretty much every light for instance is the same, except for the really different ones. Yeah. That's supposed to be yellow, orange, but I gotta get really close for it to adjust properly. Because from far away it didn't look that different. But it's the camera I have and it's not very good in low light. But over here you can see the board. These magnets are glowing very vibrantly, and the tape is glowing very vibrantly, and, oh, look at this golf ball. It's glowing very brightly, and here's Luigi glowing very brightly. See his own eyes. Yeah, the camera's not doing much justice, but, yeah, wow, and, uh, yeah, wow, yeah, oh, I didn't realize, um, this, again, this stuff over here, this red part, is actually glowing, again, camera doesn't do justice, oh, uh, here's a DS light, does not glow very brightly, no, so, yeah, DS is not glowy brightly. But, yeah, just wanted to... Sh I just had something, just had this, and that was not enough of a, to make a video. So, in order to make a video with it, I just took some other stuff to make it worth making a video about. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing parts of my room under black light. No, it's not a lot, because this camera doesn't do a lot of justice. And, to be honest, a lot of people already know what a black light does to things, but... I wanted to make a video about this because I had it and I, and I think it's cool and I want to make a video on it. So I hope you enjoy what I showed you later.